guys we are here in the car in dallas texas we are going to do a quick restaurant review we haven't did one in a while i told you we were doing we're doing i'm trying to do grilled meat as much as possible grilled food um although i'm traveling for work i'm still going on a quest to find as much grilled food as possible dallas is known for their barbecue so hey we about to have a quick quick review so guys i popped into a spot it's right next door to my hotel called spring creek barbecue they've been open since 1980 slow smoking meat brisket ribs baby back ribs turkey breast you name it they have it and they have mustard potato salad and that's some of my favorites so guys i am about to try this brisket and i also told them not to give me that lean brisket give me some with the fat in it and they did so they call it marbled marbled let's try it mm. it's good it's tender the sauce is semi-sweet, but it's good. Let's try some potato salad. Mmm. That's good. All right. All right. not bad I can taste some eggs in it and the potatoes they left the skin on the potatoes I like that see I'm a potato salad connoisseur <laughs> I get excited when my food is good especially when I eat out and guys this is the best part of view the review the food is good yes it is however when i went in they were so informed about gluten free they went down the entire menu and let me know every last item in there that was gluten free and it was a ton of choices basically the only thing i could not have was croutons on a salad and the bread that they normally give out other than that everything else was gluten free and they made took extra care to make my food away from their bread yeah so i'm pleased so i got a pound i bought a pound of chopped brisket i'm coming in this container i eat some now and save some for later however I got to vent just a little bit. I had the worst customer service in the Atlanta airport that I've ever seen. It started with my Uber ride. Sis didn't pull in my driveway. She parked out on the street. Wanted me to cross the street in traffic with three bags to get in the car. And then she finally, finally realized that I wasn't going to move. I stood right in the same spot and waited for her to drive in that driveway. I got in the car. Got, she got me to the airport. She dropped me off in the far left lane. Dumped me out. And I had to figure out how to get across the street. Three lanes at the busiest airport in the world with all this luggage. And she was gone. Yeah. Mm hmm Yep. And then, got inside. And the guy that checked me in, I'm not going to call him the airline out like that, but he was so rude. He, this 8 o'clock in the morning, he didn't even say good morning. He said, place your bag on the scale. And I said, hmm. Maybe I'm hearing things. 
So then I didn't do anything. He said, place your bag on the scale. I said, listen, this ain't jail. I'm paying for this. <laughs> You're not checking me in to do time. I paid for this and you are going to service me correctly. He was like, what's wrong? I'm not rude. I said, you are. You just don't realize it. <laughs> yeah. It was funny, but um, I met some nice people in line when I was um, checking in, going through clear. Didn't realize, hey, check your credit card statements because they will charge you for some stuff. I had signed up for clear some months ago, but I didn't sign up for clear pre-check, pre-flight. So I can just skate all the way through. However, I didn't know I had paid for that, <laughs> but obviously I did. So I checked in really fast and it was good and met some cute, nice people in line. So all in all, the flight was good. The pilot had skills. And I made it here safe and sound. Got my rental car, came to the hotel, and right next door was Spring Creek Barbecue. I didn't have to look far. I Googled it, find me gluten-free. I used that same app that I used to scan my gluten-free products to find gluten-free restaurants. And they were right next door. And on the other side of the hotel, you have IHOP. And they also have gluten-free now. Gluten-free pancakes. They say they're working on the gluten-free waffles. However, they haven't gotten that. They haven't really perfected it yet. So they're not doing the gluten-free waffles. But they are doing the gluten-free pancakes. So that was good to hear. But yep. So I found some good grilled food. Slow cooked. Slow smoked beef brisket i'm going a little bit off my keto with this potato salad but uh hey i can have a cheat day i didn't eat much maybe one ounce of the potato salad but it's really good if you're in the dallas area and you want to check out barbecue is not super expensive but it's good try them out guys I highly recommend it the sauce is gluten free the meat is gluten free and it's naturally they didn't take anything out to satisfy gluten free folk it's just the way they prepare it and I like that because you don't have to worry about cross contamination and things like that when it's just made that way naturally like I told you this is going to be a short video just something to keep keep going and keep your interest peak while I'm working I have to work but I still have to work on my video so I had to do a short video I appreciate you watching if you watch it to the end thumbs up this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel i love you i need your support i want to go to the next level please help your girl by sharing me out telling your friends fam neighbors and co-workers about this gluten-free girl trying products before you buy it on youtube gg's gluten-free lab we love you love you love you you're beautiful inside and out God loves you and so do I.